Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a full tutorial on a face. And I hope that you will get your glove and make sure your knives are sharpened and let's go and let's have some fun today. Of course, we're going to start right here on a 90 degree angle. You can use any size, but this is a one and a half inch by one and a half inch by 12 practice stick. And again, we're using, I'll try to tell you what tools we're using, that way you can follow along. But this is just regular bench knife that we're going to make uh, use today for our first cut. And that is our pushing cut to create the uh, eye planes and uh, the tip of the nose, which will be right about in there. All right, so we're going to come in here now and we're going to come in and make our cuts for the, the eyes, for the planes, for the eyes. And always, again, remember everything has a center. And right there is going to be the bridge of his nose. And so as I come in here, I want to make the tip of the nose and I'm using that rocking cut. And I'm going to come in here and undercut that stop cut that we made. I'm going to go a little deeper there. Now I'm going to take my knife and I, the, the blade, the tip of this blade, I'm going to start right here and it's going to end up out to the outer edge of the eye, hopefully. And this is going to create um, part of the nose plane also. It just straightens it up. So I'm, this tip of the knife here is going to go up to this point. Okay, so there you go. There's your, there's your cuts that you need to get started there on that. So now we're going to take a U gouge, and this is about a number three, um, and we're going to go halfway down the nose, and we're going to go straight in, straight in to create the bridge of the nose. Take my knife and remove that waste. Come out here where I start with my U gouge and finish out the eye plane by making that cut just like that there. Turn my wood and make this cut here. And come again and remove that there to create again the eye plane. Turn around our turning around turning our wood around and we're going to come and remove a little bit off of there, off the bridge of the nose. Okay, so that's where we're at so far. And now we're going to come in and create our smile lines. You can make them long or short, however you like. This is your carving. So make that stop cut, and then I'm going to put a stop, stop cut right here. Start at the bottom of this smile line, work my way up to the bridge of the nose, or the wing of the nose, excuse me. All right. Do the same thing over here. We're going to put a cut here. All right, so what we're after, too, is the three planes for the mouth. There's one, two, and three. Again, if you don't get these three planes, your, your face is going to look flat. All right, let ex let's extend our smile lines up into the nose area to create the little crook that we all have there. Now I'm going to come in again here with my U-gouge, and I'm going to push again, create more depth here. Okay, there we go. Sometimes the fiber of the wood doesn't want to let go. All right, so now I'm going to kind of clean this up in here. Sometimes you have to revisit these areas just to get the look that's going to say, that's it, that's what I'm going for. Okay. And now let's create the eyebrow area. And we're doing the same type of cut, pushing cut away from us to create the forehead area. 
We're going to take our 3 16th soft V, split the eyebrows. Okay. And now we're going to come in here and just create the top lip. And again, you can make it straight across or you can turn that lip up to give him his expression, whatever you'd like there. We're going to take a 1 8 V tool and go right over that pencil line and connect everything on each end. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. I visit this dental mound quite often to make sure that we have all of our right planes in place. All right, let's do some eyes. Let's take our pencil now and let's create the upper eyelid. And right below this second line that I'm putting in is going to be your eyeball right in there. And so again, we're going to come over here. And all this is, is just a, a guide for you. And you don't have to pencil these in, but if it helps, why well, do so? Okay, so now we're going to take our V tool and we're going to outline the first line that we put in. Come down here now, do the second line. Okay, so that's all we have to do there. Jump across the bridge of the nose. Let's go across here, putting my thumb on his nose, pivoting with that. It gives me control. I'm going to turn my wood and come in and finish out that there. All right, now we're going to take our knife and we're going to make six cuts to each eyeball. Six cuts to each eyeball. It's going to be kind of a triangle cut. And the deepest part of your eye is right next to the nose near the teardrop. Okay, we're going to go to the other side here. Put our stop cut there. Stop cut number two. And the last one, angle your blade of your knife and remove that out. All right, now we need to set that eyeball back into the socket area of the eye. So we're just using the very tip of the knife. Do not use, don't go any, you know, don't use the whole blade, just use the very tip of that blade. And you're putting a stop cut on top of that eyeball, and then you're going to take your blade and you're going to go right in and see how that made that shadow there in the, uh, in the eye socket. All right, so let's jump across the bridge of the nose. Let's do the other side. There's one cut, and two, and three turning our wood. Learn to turn your wood where you can get the best cut and the safest cut possible. All right, again, do the same process, putting my thumb on his nose and taking that blade and running it right on top of that eyeball. And it just creates a shadow in there. It gives it more depth. Okay, now I'm going to address this nose a little bit more. Okay. All right, now let's do the bottom lip. And I usually come down a little ways from the top line that I created for the upper lip. And I put my cut right there. Make your lips as big as possible because you can always reduce them down. Turning our wood, starting here and going the other way now. Okay. Now we're going to take our knife and we're going to make a stop cut to give him some action in here. We're going to take our knife and score the wood or stop cut it. And what we're doing is we're cutting the fibers of the wood. And that way when I come back and going the other direction, we're going to hopefully open his mouth a little bit and give him some action. Okay, so what we're going to do here is just take our knife and open up that mouth a little bit. 
Looky there. Just a simple cut like that can make a difference expression in your carving. Okay, so now let's come in and let's create, um, give him some uh, more depth and more realism here by putting a stop cut here on each side. And this would be where the side birds would side burns would be, and also to the, the ear, not too far away from there either. A lot of times people do not sink this area in very much. And because if you don't, this will give your face uh, not much depth. Now turn our wood again, and let's start down here and create that depth right through there. Okay, now let's let that go for a second. Let's put in the bottom eyelid, starting from the outside of the edge of the eye, working our way in, and we're creating that bottom lid, or he can blink. Creating our crow's feet. All right, let's turn our wood again. Let's do the other eye. And this is just a regular open eye carving. All right, so now let's give him some hair up here. Let's come in here and dress him up a little bit. And just show there's some action here. Like that. And if you'd like, you can come in and dress it up a little bit more. Put some more detail in like that. But don't be afraid to try something different on your faces and things. Now like right here, let's put a, a part right there. And see, that just made a difference in that. And coming in and just putting that in. And then bringing the hair down. Now you can deepen this just a little bit right there if you'd like to show some depth. I wouldn't show do it too much there. I'm going to create some lines here to give this more depth and more action in your carving. And I'm going to come down with my Uga or a soft V and create some lines and sh just to create shadows. Now I'm going to come in here and we're going to deepen this right in here to create more of a shadow and to create that 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 bottom lid where it'll stand out a little bit more. Okay. And same thing over here. We'll take our knife, just using the tip, We're running our way right up through there. And I'm going to come this way. Yeah, that gave him some depth there, didn't it? Now you don't have to if you don't particularly care for that look. That's that's up to you. Let's put in the eyebrows. Remember, don't go straight up. It'll give him a scared look, unless you're going for a startled look. So this is just a, a rat, relaxed face. But follow that eyebrow bone, that first line you put up there when you created the eye area. Follow that. And kind of turn those eyebrows on its side a little bit. 
Now, let's come in and put in more just complete looking face by creating the sides. And putting in the chin, things like that. And we're just about done with this guy. But we gotta, gotta come in and put in these little features. And um, that way we can Again, too, you know, you can take your V-tool, a little small V-tool, and come in here and put little 5 o'clock shadows in here and all these little things just to help your carving come to life more. And also, too, whenever you get ready, I like putting action in my eyes, looking left or right or up or down. And, oh, boy, he's looking around at something there. may not know what it is yet, but he's looking. And then, of course, he's got to breathe. And um, even though he's got his mouth open a little bit, we're going to put in the nostrils. And I like to turn mine upside down. That way I can see better. And just put shadows. And then I take my knife and I undercut those and picking his nose. And again, I like to come in and visit these areas because when I first started carving, my face looked very flat like a pancake. And I learned through trial and error that the teeth is the big, big asset that keeps the shape of our face and because if we don't keep this dental mound rounded, um, you will have a flat face. So you can see there, it's lots of fun. Yeah, we left some ridges and things, but that's just part of it. You can always dress that down. And two, if you want to put in part of the lip, inner lip, you can just take your number 12 V tool and come in and create that little mouth looks like there's something like a tongue or something in there so anyway all right well folks hope you enjoyed this uh, expression of this face today and it's a lot of fun so get you a stick and try it out and have fun we'll see you soon happy carving